guys so we're just gonna jump right on in we're gonna use a wide tooth comb and detangle our hair and we're just gonna want to pull the hair up into the desired position of the ponytail without any product you're gonna put it in not so tight of a pony because you just want the position right then go in with the wide tooth comb and kind of comb out any lumps and bumps that would be underneath now we're gonna use the Cantu edge control and this is like the best edge control ever. We're also using a toothbrush and we're gonna take it and slick down the edges and the parameter of the hair. I personally find that using edge control before putting on gel eliminates half and then some of how much gel you would put on your hair anyways to slick it down. So use a fine tooth comb and kind of really mold and position the edges and the parameter of your hair. Now we're going to use Gorilla Snot, best gel by far. And we're going to squeeze a little in our hand and slick it over our hair. So when I do my ponytails, I like to build up the gel as needed. So I realized I needed a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go in and slick everything up. Using a good old Jamaican bristle brush. Those brush bristles have been through the trenches, okay? But the more worn in, the smoother the sleep. So I'm just going to use a bristle brush, smooth everything down and go in with another pony tie and tie it tight. If you're Jamaican or African, like you know the bristle brushes get the naps down. Go in again with the brush and just mold and brush the hair to the desired look. Of sleekness that you like use a small tooth comb if you feel like there's any lumps or bumps underneath and go in with another hair tie tie that one pretty tight too and then you're good to go I'm gonna comb out the ends of your hair and just braid it into a ponytail and then we're gonna wrap it around Now we're gonna start with our ponytail. We're gonna use two packs of 100% Kanekalon Jumbo Braiding Hair. Keep the original elastic on the top part because that's what we're gonna use to attach the pack of braiding hair to our little buns. So for Nicki Minaj's bun, it was a nice twisted full fluffy bun. So I went in with two packs of braiding hair opposed to just one pack. I wanted my bun to be nice and fluffy and full just like Nikki's. Now you're going to go in and you're going to split each pack into the two um, sections that it comes with and then you're going to join the two sides so they're going to be two full thick sides. Just rake it through. You can use a wide tooth comb or you can use your fingernails. And just rake through the hair. And now we're going to start to twist. When I twist, I like to do the twist very loose and fluffy. Because this way you can manipulate the hair better. If it's too tight, one, the bun is going to be too small. And it's not going to be easy to maneuver. Then you're going to secure the end of the ponytail with a little black rubber band. Beats 
and you're just going to repeat the same step on the next side. Make sure that the twist is nice and fluffy and smooth. Now that we have our two fluffy twists, we're ready to start wrapping. So with the first twist, oh, how could I forget? For this style, you need bobby pins. I love bobby pins when doing um, twisted updos like this because they really hold in place. When you use the uh, prong pins, like the open pins, I feel like they slip, they slide out, they fall out. So I like using the bobby pins. So we just wanted to wrap it mold it into the desired base or foundation that you want for the bun and just bobby pin it in place pull on it stretch it fluff it out get it to the height that you want when it comes to twisted updos it's honestly just trial and error so i wrapped it one way and i realized mm, not so much try to wrap it another way and realize mm, not so much and then I was just like, okay, finally got it. So we just wrap and tuck and pin. And you basically have it once you've wrapped it to the way you want. All that comes next is just really pinning the bun into its desired position. Bobby pins are so crucial when doing updos because they really make the updo come to life. Play around with it, see how you feel about it. And like I said, it's all just trial and error. So I think you guys pretty much get the idea from here. The bun is pretty much done. It's just pinning left to do. So hopefully this tutorial was informative. Hopefully it was easy to follow. I know I'm a visual learner. So hopefully you guys caught on to everything that I was doing. And I hope to see you guys recreate this look soon. Thank you for stopping by to my channel. More hair tutorials to come your way. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.